Hello guys. So welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the lighting of this particular drawing hall over here. So now what I'll be doing over here, I'll be managing the ceiling lights over here. So we'll be just adjusting that stuff over here. I'll just select this and I'll see how I can manage it. Okay, that's totally fine over here now. I'll again go to this top view. I'll rotate it. I'll rotate it in 90 degree and I'll reduce its length a bit so I'll just reduce its length and slightly I'll just push it behind till here still I'll reduce its length I'll increase a bit of its length all right After that, if you have too much of reflections, we can reduce those reflections, not a problem. I'll select this light and this light and I'll again select its target over here. I'll press shift and I'll just duplicate that so now what I can do is like I can just go into the slides and I'll slightly will keep this all setting same but will reduce its intensity over here if you want I can slightly reduce the intensity of the light we can reduce the intensity so I'll slightly go over here and I'll reduce its intensity a bit, not much. So just select this, copy this. Again, I'll go back to standard over here. Select this and go into this and I'll put this intensity over here now after that if you want let's take a V-ray sun or you can also take a V-ray light with a very lesser intensity so let's go over here uh, go into the lights go into the V-ray and let's take a V-ray sun I'll take a V-ray sun over here if you want is, I'll say OK. After that, I'll slightly change the color of it. And most important, uh, we'll reduce its intensity because the light from the sun should be very less. So we can do it. So before that, I'll go into this, the photon emit radius, I can increase this photon emit radius and reduce the intensity multiplier of the light. All right. I can slightly go over here slightly I'll just push this up a bit and what I want is I'm going to place up a camera over here let's go into the render setup let's 
if you feel the intensity is very high for the sun we can so press control c to place up a camera and let's just render it and see how it looks like oops the intensity is very very high so we need to work on the intensities of the light so definitely we'll be doing that so i'll make this view as a perspective view over here so select this light the intensity 0.08 let's make it to 0.08 let's render and see how it looks like you have to define what which is your source light if you are going to define the source light as sunlight you can utilize totally sun as your main light and other rest as your we can define it as a fill light or anything or if you are not defining sun as a source light if you are defining the interior lights the ceiling lights as a source light then you can totally focus on that so the most important thing over here is like if you are using the sun then the interior lights will get dim so it's better i can i can reduce the intensity of the sun as less as possible so the reflections are very high or instead of that uh, if you don't want to use sun you can also use a v-ray light we can utilize a v-ray light also not a problem so let's utilize that if required all right uh, looks okay sun i think we can off that because it's of no use actually rather than that i can use a v-ray light so i can use a v-ray light i'll go into this I'll go into the front view over here and I'll just put up a V-ray light over here. So that would be much better.
So select this light. I'll just uh, mirror it. Like the light should be seen from this axis. So I'll put it over here. And now what I can do is like I can go into the settings of it. So let's go into the temperature and I'll slightly make the temperature a bit warm. Increase the resolution of it. Multiply it. Let's keep for an example as 2 right now. Go into the options. I activate this cast shadow, invisible, decay. We'll just activate all this stuff. Okay, the light is too much. Uh, we need to reduce the light. Multiply. Let's make it as 0.4 for now. Still we need to reduce it. So lighting is very technical you need to keep on rendering again and again to check it whether it is okay or not. So you cannot finalize it in one go that I have put a light and we can just oh it's finalized. So you cannot do it in that way. You need to constantly keep a check on it how the lights are behaving. So I think uh, So because we have, I think we haven't done uh, any kind of render settings yet. So we also need to check out few of the render settings also because we have not done any render settings yet. So the whole parameter we need to check it out because just adjusting the lights will not do. We have to go with the render settings also. I'll, if I... So let, let it render and see how it looks like. This is just because of not activating the GI and all this stuff. We need to do it. So once we do it, then definitely it will show up properly. to the environment and remove this. If you're not using uh, the V-Ray Sun, you can definitely delete that uh, the V-Ray Sky from the environment because we'll be definitely using some HDRI over here. So the light is too much right now. We can uh, slightly reduce the light over here. So need to keep a check on it. There are a lot of things we need to work on it. So it's not finalized yet anything over here.
all right we need to work on the lights a bit more so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so if you are not subscribed yet please do subscribe so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial